How's it going out there? There's this group called the Island Boys. They're like an internet sensation group that kind of became famous overnight, pretty much. Um, and the reason why they're famous is not even really clear. It's just like some type of internet sensation or something. Because if you start looking, looking them up and stuff, you might come across... A couple music videos but I don't know it's just nothing that stands out really at this point so it's just kind of like a I don't know if they're even like a parody group or if they're a, a serious group or if they're comedians or what but this group is pretty much like being talked about. They're get, even getting interviews on like some pretty big platforms. And I don't know. Their name's been buzzing. Uh, I'm thinking like, well, here's, 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 here's the, what I'm getting at is basically one of the members is online talking about how he sold his soul. And so he's on there saying he hasn't been happy since and you know he, he he said he interacted with the demon pretty much um the the entity had offered him uh option to either take like a loved one's life you know or he could um sacrifice his own life he says something like he sacrificed his own life it, it sounds a lot like what, almost like what Crunchy Black was saying from Three Six Mafia, like he said he he came into contact with this demon and was negotiating with it. It's like, so that's like a pattern now where these celebrity artists are saying that they're pretty much negotiating with an entity. Um, Crunchy Black has said it wasn't actually an entity. He said he negotiated with a. It was like a person almost like pretty much like flat it looked like a regular person and then this person's like he knew for sure this wasn't a person though and i don't know if this person was possessed or if this person had just materialized into human form to interact with them or it could have been spiritual it could have been in his head it could have been something where, you know, like a schizo can, um, they can see people that aren't there and talk to them. You see them sometimes like these, um, homeless people. Usually some of them you might see talking to an invisible person. So there's, we don't know exactly how this plays out with how they're negotiating these deals. But according to what, you know, the stories are starting to all add up that they're actually in a communication with beings now this um island boy didn't go too deep into describing this demon so that's where i put it with the other stories i've heard and then there's lots of other artists who have came forward and these artists i'm talking about aren't like the island boys these are actual artists that have achieved a uh, high status in the music industry artists like kanye west and you know, he, he was definitely caught saying something about his soul. Um, there was discussions about Ice Cube and Dr. Dre and Easy e and a whole lot of other artists. And not just artists, but also movie stars and um, even politicians. So with this Island Boy guy, I mean, check out the video. I'll leave a link for it in the comment section and the description box so you can see what he had to say about his interaction. Now look, he could be trolling us, all right? We know that, we all know that. But when I make these videos, we, we can't just assume he's trolling because if he is or isn't, doesn't really uh well it, it matters but here's the point is that like i said there's been a lot of artists who have came forward and said similar things and then also 
when it comes to this um, investigation, you know, we're getting clues about what goes on behind the scenes when these artists come out of nowhere. I mean, they did kind of come out of nowhere and make it from irrelevance to, you know, at least being their names being tossed around the, um, the mainstream. So there's, I mean, like I said, they're internet sensation. Like literally people are talking about them and, um, I mean, they got booed off the stage a couple was a couple week, a couple weeks ago, but I mean, the people were asking this Island boy, like about the money and the fame. And he said, well, it's still in process. He's saying, and basically another point he made about the loved ones was like, that's another common theme when it comes to this stuff is that they say, you know, it looks like they have to lose a loved one to get on. Now, I, I don't know what type of deal this dude made, but hope he, you know, he should hope that it doesn't lead to that when it comes to a loved one, because that's a pattern that's very, that stands out. You know, like I said, Kanye West lost his mom. A lot of the artists lost their mom. Disney movies, they usually start off with the, the Disney character losing their mom. Even the cartoons, like Bambi and um, the Little Mermaid have a mom. You know, like, I don't, I don't remember all these Disney movies or nothing, but I know from the research I've done, they have that theme where they um the character doesn't have a mom or they lose their mom. And that seems to go on in the music industry because like you said, a loved one, like everybody loves their mom mostly. So a lot of, you know, a lot of people really love their mom. And so, um, that's definitely would that definitely would be considered a loved one. And then people love their dad. People do be loving their dad too. So, and then in the industry, you see a lot of times they'll lose one parent, then the next parent, or they'll lose a brother or a sister or a cousin. It's usually bloodlines. So I don't know if, if for this guy to say he's so. I mean, he he really shouldn't even be playing around with that stuff. If 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 he's just like trolling or something, he really shouldn't even be trolling like that. Cause you know he it's still kind of walking that path. Like he shouldn't be saying anything like that if it's not true. And you know, like I said, I mean it could be true. I mean, check out the link. He seemed he seemed pretty sincere. I mean. Talking about he was like he's not happy anymore, and that's another theme where you know depression comes into play a lot with these entities. It, you know, a lot of these um, conditions are related to these entities. If you, uh, I suspect a lot of people in the mental institutions are um, are dealing with these entities on different levels, and you know, um, it seems to be a very serious thing, like there's literal evidence the professionals will call a lot of these conditions like just normal conditions and balances and stuff like that but I've done videos on this stuff before you can check it out on my own oh, what, what playlist is that I don't know but it's back there where you can see where I've covered this issue and with the mental uh with the mental conditions i mean people literally hearing and seeing people in their head but nobody else can see them i don't know man i mean that's something else and then so there's something to this really is what that says there's something to this there's something to this stuff so um like i said Okay, look, we don't know if this dude's trolling or not, this island boy. Either way, we're looking into it, and it's it's, it's something to look into. If if I was, to, if you want my opinion, I mean, there's always going to be those that say like, that they're not. There's going to be some that don't believe it, and then there's going to be some that do believe it. What he was saying, and so, like I said, reference that what he's saying with all the other. Um, with all the other uh, stories about these celebrities. And, and and then you see a pattern, 
you start to see a pattern. So, I don't know. If you ask me, I think there's something to this stuff. Either way. Either way, there's something to this stuff. Whether he's... um. And, and there's no real reason to believe that he's not telling the truth either. Just as much as you might say he is or he, or he isn't, it's like you don't know that. You don't you don't know if he is or isn't telling the truth. So we're looking into it, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So thank you for tuning in. Check out the link. Like I said, the link's in the comment section and the description box. If you want to help Feed Your Mind, stay in line and possibly go full-time, especially on my Feed Your Mind 2 channel, um... You know, because if, if the more support I can get, there's a there's a chance I can really start um, going full time on my on my real channel, like my Feed Your Mind Two channels, where I put time in on the videos. And I don't know, it's a we're just gonna need to get our support up. You can join for as little as a dollar to help keep things going over here at Feed Your Mind. Also, um, I'll leave a link for my social media and my other channels. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Future Mind signing off.